Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Deepak and I welcome you all to another important ESI current affairs session. So in this session, we are going to cover all important ESI current affairs from the first week of April. This lecture will be important for your upcoming RBA grade B as well as NABARD grade examination. Let's start this lecture. Now before starting this lecture, I would like to request you all to kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also to receive free current affairs PDF, you can only subscribe to our Telegram channel, link is in description. Now, before starting this lecture, I have an announcement for you all that currently we are running three different courses for RBA Grade B 2023. Do check out the courses, link is in description. Now, the first news is related to the direct tax collection of Union Government. Now, recently, Central Government has shared the data regarding the direct tax collection in the Parliament session. Now, let us discuss about this news. Now, direct tax collection, which is provisional figure for financial year 2022-2023, has exceeded the union budget estimate by rupees 2.41 lakh crore that is 16.97 percentage <coughs> now what is budget estimates now let us discuss about the budget estimates now, budget estimates when the finance minister of india present the union budget in the parliament he or she present the funding allocation for any scheme or initiative or for requirement of funding of requirement of any kind of ministry so this estimate which has been provided in the form of funding is known as budget budget estimates since these are estimates these are the uh, these are not the final figures so what are the final figures so after say after six to seven months that ministry need some more fund then the budget estimate is revised some more funding is provided to that particular ministry that is known as the revised estimate revised estimate clear now let us discuss about this news now the provisional figures of direct tax collection for financial year 2022-23 shows that the net collection are at rupees 16.61 lakh crore which is compared to a uh, preceding final year that was rupees 14.12 lakh crore so in preceding final year financial year that is financial year 2021-22 the net collection was rupees 14.12 lakh crore but the provisional figure of this year is 16.6 lakh 16.61 lakh crore okay and this increase represent 17.63 percentage clear ji and the budget estimates of direct tax revenue in the union budget financial year 2022-23 were fixed at rupees 14.20 lakh crore so the difference between these two is rupees 2.41 lakh crore which has been mentioned in the title of this news clearly now the budget estimate for direct tax revenue was 14.20 lakh crore which were revised and the revised estimate were fixed at rupees 16.50 lakh crore. Now, the gross collection of direct taxes for financial year 2022-23 stands at rupees 19.68 lakh crore, which shows a growth of 20.33 percentage over the gross collection of 16.36 lakh crore. See, why we are covering this news? Since, first of all, this news was in PIB. This news is related to central government and recently budget was presented and uh, and this data was shared recently also clearly we have to remember the, uh, the the provisional data or the final data mentioned in this particular slide also we have to remember what is the budget estimate what is the revised estimate you have to remember the definition or the concept of these two uh, concepts also Clearly. <clears throat> now, second news is Bharat Pay ties up with Niti Ayog WEP, which is a program related to women to support women entrepreneurs. Okay, let us discuss about this news. So recently, Bharat Pay Group has partnered with Niti Ayog Women Entrepreneurship Platform with an objective to enable women entrepreneurs across India in the journey of self-reliance and business growth. So recently, this Bharat Pay Group which is a company which is a fintech company it this company has partnered with 
द इनिशिएटिव ऑफ नीति आयोग एंड द इनिशिएटिव इज वीमेन एंटरप्रनोरशिप प्लेटफॉर्म ठीक जी नो वट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्टनरशिप द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्टनरशिप दैट दे वॉन्ट टू इनेबल द वीमेन एंटरप्रनोर्स टू बिकम सेल्फ रिलायंस सेल्फ रिलायंट एंड दे वॉन्ट टू हेल्प दैम इन देयर बिजनेस ग्रोथ ठीक है जी ना द कोर फोकस एरिया अंडर दिस पार्टनरशिप वुड बी टू फैसिलिटेट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑफ इस काइंड एग्रीगेट प्लेटफॉर्म दैट गिव्स एक्सेस टू पीयर सपोर्ट दैट आल्सो प्रोवाइड द मेंटरशिप नेटवर्किंग चैनल्स एंड लर्निंग रिसोर्सेज टू वीमेन एंटरप्रनोर्स सो एज एज एंटरप्रनोर्स बी इट मेल एंटरप्रनोर्स बी इट फीमेल एंटरप्रनोर्स दे डोंट हैव दैट मच नॉलेज रिगार्डिंग or that much resources for their particular businesses so to extend their business to be, make them self reliant to do, grow their business this company has taken this initiative to partner with niti ayog and help them grow their businesses clear ji now the partnership aim to build a robust ecosystem that brings together women entrepreneurs from different parts of country and equip them with required domain knowledge as well as financial and technical know how needed to fulfill their business now if there is any and any entrepreneur he or she must have some kind of business goals like they want to expand the business to some and some areas okay ji they want to give employment to some and some people okay ji so these these are some kind of goals any entrepreneur might have okay so to fulfill the business growth of the entrepreneurs of the women entrepreneurs this partnership would aim that the domain knowledge okay ji the domain knowledge say the entrepreneur has is working in the agriculture technology firm okay ji they are providing technology to agri entrepreneurs okay ji to agricultural firm they are providing technology now to increase their knowledge of their particular domain this initiative has been launched to uh, provide them some kind of financial help or financial resources or financial knowledge this initiative has been launched or to increase their technical know how technical knowledge to increase their technical knowledge this initiative has been launched clear ji now this initiative has been launched under bharat pay cares which is a corporate social responsibility initiative by this group bharat pay group this partnership is in line with group's brand purpose to empower lives through inclusive innovative and reliable fintech solutions clear ji now why this initiative has been launched this company has partnered with which of the following initiative these or these are might be the question which you can see in your phase 1 or phase 2 of your rbi grade me or navad grade examination theek hai ji now third news is so recently as per the data shared in the parliament session more than 40000 of amrit sarovar has been dedicated to the country which is a significant achievement as per the ministry of rural development theek hai ji now this data is not that useful for us for us but the amrit sarovar which is an initiative is important for us clear ji now let us discuss about this initiative a mission amrit sarovar was launched on 24th of april 2022 theek hai ji so last year this initiative has been launched and almost one year of this initiative has been completed clear ji now objective of this uh, amrit mission is to harvest and conserve the water for future generation so the only objective or aim of this particular mission is to conserve the water for future generation so uh, basic idea is to provide sustainable water we are working in the area of sustainable water by launching this particular mission now the mission amrit sarovar focuses on water conservation people's participation and proper utilization of soil excavated from water bodies to boost infrastructural project so it this initiative or this mission has three focus first is water conservation okay they want to conserve the water for future generations second is they want to do this or achieve the goal through people's participation so they want to include people in this particular mission third is they want to utilize the soil which has been excavated from water bodies the soil the soil which has been excavated from water bodies by rejuvenating or refurbishing that water bodies and use that soil in boosting the infrastructural projects in the country clear ji <coughs> now this mission had initially planned a target 
to construct or rejuvenate 50,000 of ponds, Amrit Sarovar ponds across India by 15th of August 2023. But additional 50,000 of Amrit Sarovar ponds will be constructed by this particular date. So the target of this particular mission was to construct or rejuvenate 50,000 Amrit pond. And the timeline was till 15th of August 2023. But later on, additional 50,000 Amrit Sarovar ponds was also added in this particular target and the timeline was the same that is 15 august of 2023 okay, now this uh, these sites will be identified by the state government okay, now under this mission every district of the country will construct or rejuvenate at least 75 amrit sarovar so under this mission every district of the country there are almost 700 or 50 districts in the country so all these uh, districts, at least 75 of Amrit, uh, Amrit Sarovars will be co constructed by these districts. So every Sarovar will have pondage area of at least 1 acre with water holding capacity of about 10,000 cubic meter. Because every Amrit Sarovar will be a source of generation of livelihood by using the water for different purposes like irrigation, fisheries, duckery, cultivation of water, chestnut, water tourism and other activities. So, with the help of these Amrit ponds or Amrit Sarovars, they want to generate the source of livelihood for people. Okay. By, they can use the water for their irrigation purposes, for fisheries, for tourism, etc. etc. Okay. Now, these Sarovars will also act as a point of social gathering. Okay. So, that's all about this mission on this Amrit Sarovar. Let us discuss the last news. So, the generation of livelihood for youth and women under PM Divine. So, here the PM Divine, which is a scheme related to northeast of our country. Let us discuss about this news. This Let us discuss about this particular scheme. Now, PM Divine stands for Prime Minister's Development Initiative for Northeast Region. So, this initiative, this scheme is targeted towards the development of northeast region of the country. So, states which are in northeast of the region, northeast of the India, that is like Sikkim, Assam, Nagaland, Manipur, Tripura, etc. etc. This scheme is targeted towards them. So do remember the full form of this acronym that is PM Divine. Now this scheme was announced as a central sector scheme. Now central sector scheme stands for it means that all the funding would be provided by the central government scheme. Now, initial allocation for this particular scheme was Rs. 1500 crore in the union budget 2022-23 and this scheme was approved in 2022, in October 2022. <coughs> now, this scheme has an outlay of Rs. 6600 crore. Outlay of this particular scheme was 6600 crore for 4 years. Since this scheme was launched in 2022-23 financial year, this will this initial this outlay will be for four years from 2022-2023 till 2025-2026. Okay, now, and the objectives of this particular schemes are fund infrastructure convergently in the spirit of PM Gati Shakti. Now, PM Gati Shakti is an initiative of central government under which infrastructure project has been created all over the country. Now, with convergence of this PM Gati Shakti, infrastructure project will be funded under this particular scheme that is PM Divine. Later, support social development project. Now, social development project means project which are related to society like hospitals will be created, schools will be created, roads will be created, crazy, or say uh, uh, water facilities will be provided, pipelines like pipelines Okay. Now these are known as social development projects. For this, under this scheme, support will be provided for these particular projects. Next is enable livelihood activities for youth and women. Okay. Some kind of skill development could be think under this scheme. Okay. Or they want they could develop any kind of livelihood activities so that youth and women could be engaged and they could develop or make them financially independent. Okay. And the final objective is to fill the development gaps in the various sector. Here, 
so that's all for the day hope you have liked this lecture do press the like button if you like this lecture also do share your comment in the comment section below uh, i would like love to read your comments take it read your reviews read your feedbacks anyone anything you can write in your in this comment section take it also you can share your queries or any doubts at info at the elephant space dot in we would love to reply you with that take it so see you tomorrow till then prepare hard